up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I say, what's up, everybody? How you do? Where you doing? Who you doing with? <laughs> yeah, man, yours truly, Mloyo, your double is seven. What's up? What's happening? Let's do this. We got Castlecraft, World War, One Handed Game, which I don't normally play, but we got it nonetheless. And I'd like you to join me. Let's charge it. Let's play it. Let's have fun. It is what it is, right? Yeah, guys, it's a uh, RTS gameplay, which is a real time strategy game. Uh, base builds, troops, commanders, and stuff like that. Uh, and you, you do this in real time with another, with a PvP, of course. Oh, and they've got practice, training, and stuff like that for you to get yourself nice on board and uh, um, and you dive into this world. Guys, you know what to do? You just have to like the, the channel or the video and subscribe. Hit the notification button so that you can stay updated. With yours truly, I'm loyal, 007. Without any further ado, let's dive in. All right, guys. As you can see, uh, Matthew versus Mloyo 007, uh, and uh, this is this is when the game, of course, now starts. Starts. Uh, you have in the middle here, uh, not necessarily in the middle, but yeah, at the bottom there. There's my my castle, and at the top, this is Matthew's castle, right? And uh, the three um, circles here that are surrounding those castles. Uh, those are basically the mines that you need to mine out and when you get the mine uh, that's basically the the blue um, jewels that you see there at the bottom uh, those help you to purchase troops right uh, and as you can see at the bottom left um, I have already have um, uh, what's this purchased uh, my first troops Matthew has purchased his first troops and at the same time, he's push pushing in. There is a cloud of war, which means I can't see what he's doing until he gets to my side. So only then did I see that he has uh, kubos, that's what they call them. Uh, they are a swamp with troops, uh, pretty weak. However, because they are a swamp, they do pose a deadly threat. Is they are able to tear down the buildings and some of your, uh, what you call, troops. But I've got uh, what I call defenders. Uh, these are sword and shield guys that actually uh, take a lot of damage and they can give a damage as well. However, they are more expensive than the kobolds. So I would take out like three, but three will be able to handle uh, the swarm of kobolds coming through. All right, so at this stage, um, if you look carefully, you will see that uh, they, it's written tier one on top of my castle right and if you were to look at my hero my hero is at the bottom right corner um my hero is dead 24 seconds away from coming back resurrection and uh yeah so tier one also on my hero on top of uh his or her head you'll have a tier that is the castle level all right so at this stage my, i'm i'm actually leading in castle development <coughs> Uh, if you look at uh, the blue bar that is actually going around the uh, the castle there. Also, Matthew now has started his upgrade. I'm leading with uh, what you call this, uh, upgrades. And if you look carefully, you'll see that I'm also leading in, in buildings. So the two buildings that you see that are close to the circles that I call the mines, those are your houses, right? That's where you get your troops from. Uh, without those houses, you will have troops, but not too much. So the more the houses, the more the troops you can you can have. So uh, I've already have uh, two mines, three houses. Actually, it's gonna be four and three. Uh, what you call mines? Having have noted that I'm hit, I knew that I can actually do a lot of a, a, a lot of upgrades and purchasing of buildings. So I've already have. Uh, five buildings uh now which is which is incredible i mean three you can really hurt a person four is what you need to actually close down the game but five is just overkill <laughs> all right so here i come i'm bringing out what i call slices <coughs> i call them slices like, guys I'm, I'm still to to understand these 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 troops but yeah i call them slices because they, they just slice through enemies man they slice through the enemies and now you must understand i might have more buildings and more everything and being ahead but because i've been spending on the mold um i'm unable to actually bring out a lot of troops right so he's able to bring out a lot of troops because 
um, he didn't spend that much. He only has four uh, uh, buildings or homes and three, he's locked down on three months. I'm locked down on four months and buildings. So because I have more mana, I am able to actually dish out more slices, dish out more slices. But at the same time, if you look carefully, you'll see that as I'm dishing, dishing out these slices, uh, my building is actually upgrading to level three and I'm ahead still there. And now my slices are actually stronger against his slices, right? I'm tearing them apart. Look at that. I already have uh, put down one of his buildings, took down one of his mines, and I'm just I'm just dishing them out left and right. Uh, more on the left because it's closest to his castle, <coughs> less on the right because it's furthest. <coughs> All right, so his buildings are down to two. <coughs> And um, my mine, uh, actually, he's, he's, he's down to uh, two mines as well. And if you look carefully, you will see that I'm not producing any troops anymore. So, so I changed, I changed to these flying owls, ladies, because they are able to shoot air and ground, and they do area damage, and they're able to take out the the slices that he's busy dishing out, right? Even though the, my slices were actually doing a good job, but I was like, hey, if he changes to these type of lanes, he can actually change the, the game, and I was easy just spamming them out. So out comes what I call beasts, all right? These are um, uh, ox-looking uh, guys uh, that have a huge X, huge uh, health and damage. So they actually one hit um some of the enemies to hit the buildings and stuff like that and we win the game you already had a dragon but it was too late i was leading in upgrades <laughs> and stuff like adventure. that so that's that's how the game actually uh plays out uh really 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 nice game got a nice victory there uh and uh let's let's quickly check out another one here that i had uh played uh, this is against Gillian. So I won, but how did I do that? Let's have a look quick. All right. My castle pops in. I come up. I put through my mine. He put through his mine as well. Um, yeah, so I'm still working on a strategy, whether to go for mine or go for my building upgrade, you know, stuff like that. So that's what you need to do. Draft. A draft is very important in this game. Just just have a draft to say. And I start, I'll start with a mine. At the same time, as you can see, the map changes, right? So sometimes starting with a mine the is a, a bit of no-no, you see. So I've got a mine, I've got a building, and I've got troops, right? He only has um, a building. Why? Because he wants to do what we call a rush. He's rushing me with cobalt just easy spamming them out and trust me they are able to do a lot of damage but he saw that i'm actually defending quite well i still have my mind still alive that means i'm leading on ma on mana um and i'm upgrading my building again because he took it down just gonna send my chips just to be a nonsense upgrade my building because i'm leading with mana once again come back come back come back so that we can defend uh, the coming uh, gobbles out pops my troops just to defend the rush and he turns back so that he actually actually can save up because when you when your troops return back to base um they have a certain percentage of mana that comes back right. <coughs> and, 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 and it actually increases with the tier the level of your castle so it's coming through with a bit of a rush but uh, took down one of the buildings that i had built up my hero is a poop her oh he's dead okay so now he's doing a lot of uh, damage now, yeah. so i'm just gonna defend took out my defenders and now i'm gonna try and kill the uh, hero yeah. try and kill the hero pop up the defender right at the back where he's going to run to Ah, he didn't work. He survives by an inch. All right, still, I still have two mana, but now, basically, <coughs> uh, he's leading with the uh, with the mines now. Um, and uh, just pop up an owl there, beat that. 
and just let it fly through just to have a look at everything uh if you can but out he comes he's relentless take out my my guys here just to beat the hero down they do that beat the other ladies down do that cutting through here comes the slices my guys should be able to actually beat down his slices <coughs> Uh, slices cannot actually do that. So these three guys are actually tearing apart everything. Now I've got owls flying up, 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 up above. And doing a lot of area damage. Alright, so that was a good defense on my side. Really helping me to push through. I'm going to take down his third mine. Uh, he's spamming owls. But I've got... Yeah, I've got, uh, do I have guys on the ground? Yeah, my hero actually helps as the guy on the ground. So if he's busy spamming guys, uh, flying owls, I have a lot of them. So, all right, I, <coughs> out comes his hero. Um, and yeah, as you can see on top of the hero's head, it's written tier three. So it tells you that he's already on level three. He brings out the X guys beasts, Don't you run away. and I take out a turtle. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. So it, well, they, they shoot from distance, and they have an area impact or area damage. Area. I take out some of my beasts as well, and yeah. So all out war. I'm definitely leading here with buildings. I've got four. Uh, like I said, with four, you really can close down a game, and four four buildings, three mines. That's that's a winner there, alright? And as you can see, I'm already in his building and he gives up. Out he goes. Alright. <laughs> you cannot interfere with my adventure. Alright, uh, so that was the gameplay. Let's now look at the uh, troops. And go here. These are your cards, right? And uh, right at the top there, you will see castle level, you will see commander le level, tier level one, tier level two, and three. So these are your commanders that you have, Raya, um, and uh, T uh, Tiny, that's the one I'm using. Uh, right at the bottom, it tells you uh, their power, you know, or should I say skill that they have. And of course, all other goodies like uh, health, uh, range do, do they dam do they hit air and ground how fast do they go and stuff like that so that like i said you can prepare your draft nicely got modric here uh god of lightning <coughs> or hero of lightning and uh yeah and look at the design of these characters they look very nice they look very sharp all right and uh that that was the last one they they cut there now let's look at the tier one troops here uh these are the ones that i that i have opened up uh two more to go and then we're done with this particular tier i believe uh got canons got your kobolds as well here uh and we got your commander which are called defenders mm. and there you go soldier slices um uh, airship these guys, they pick up uh, soldiers from your ground, from your base, and they actually just fly right straight through to the enemy's castle, and they drop all those troops that you have right at the castle, avoiding A or other buildings, and they just hamper in down on a castle building. This guy just charges um, on, 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 a, on, a, on, a, on a, on a, on a, on an enemy on the building as well so i've got upgrades going on the gold that you see popping out there those those are upgrades meaning that particular card can be upgraded so yeah so they there is an advantage and disadvantage when it comes to upgrading your your heroes so i might have the good the, the, like the best strategy i might be leading but once our troops come out and we have the same troops and you have a higher level on those troops well you're gonna definitely beat me in that particular you might have some sort of an advantage there and um yeah 
but um, so far it's been nice. The uh, matchmaking was is actually the one that's that's keeping us at bay in terms of this game, just sticking at it because they match they match you based on your castle level, and your castle level um, is is measured on the amounts of upgrades you have. Um, so of course. Um, it's not that you can upgrade one card because there's different kinds of cards that pop up um, when you open those, um, you know, boxes every now and then or every day. Uh, I think there's a three hour countdown on a box. After you have won uh, a game, you get a silver box, gold box, uh, I forgot the other one, mythic box, yes. And they have different hours, eight hours, three hours and stuff like that. And then when you open up, you get um, cards for upgrades, right? And once you upgrade uh, to a certain level, um, as you can see, I'm upgrading these uh, cannons and he, there we go, we got an upgrade. So um, it puts together all upgrades that I have and uh, with that, it increases my level of my castle and says, hey, look, you're good to go for castle level seven or you're good to go for castle level eight and so forth. So that's how it works. And then you are placed based on the castle level and um, your tier level all right which is how, how you know your tier is, is increased by how much you have won you know how many games you have won and stuff like that and here's your silver box you open it up nicely and uh, you get all these kinds of cards which will help you to upgrade once you get there so yeah it's a cool game putting more uploads on it um, and uh, yeah like really thrilling uploads you'll see <laughs> all you have to do is stay up, uh, uh, updated and glued by hitting your notification button and uh, yeah. So guys, thank you so much. Yours truly out. Yeah, yeah.